Hello, welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Johnny. On today's episode, we're going to be working with artichokes. This delicious vegetable, not only is it pretty, uh, but it's also so healthy and good for you. One of my favorite ways to prepare this is marinated and then jarred. Just a few simple ingredients that you probably have in your home. Um, it's a beautiful vegetable. You can see, you just want to make sure that when you buy these artichokes, that they're nice and firm. See how nice and round they are? And they have beautiful stems on them. That's my favorite part. I'm going to be cleaning these in a second. We're going to start cutting them. Uh, getting them together and then jar them. So come back and join me in a minute as I have a whole bunch here to work on and I'll see you when you come back. Okay, now before we begin the process of cleaning the artichokes, I just want to point out one thing. Behind me I have my steamer pot going, but I'm going to use once it comes to a boil, I'm going to take my cleaned artichoke hearts and place them in there for a few minutes to so get just a little bit tender before I marinate them. Now to clean the artichoke. You can grab your first artichoke, and basically what you're going to do is just clean off your, the outer leaves, and they're the hard ones. There's a bunch that you're going to be taking off. You're going to leave the stem on, you're not going to take it off. You're going to take it off like, you know, one by one or a couple at a time, like this. Just go all the way around until you get almost to the center. Not completely, but to the center enough where you're going to get to the heart. You take two or three off at a time. They come off really easy. As you see, I just work around because a, they're laid one on top of each other. So it makes it easy to take off. Just take them off. And you'll have an idea when to stop as soon as you get to the softer ones. Okay, almost there. That's pretty good. See how nice it is? We're going to come back now. We're going to start, we're going to cut the ends off a little bit. You're going to, on the stem, you're going to cut off a little bit of the end, like that. That's not good. We're going to clean the stem just a little bit with a little knife, just to get a little clean, like that. You're going to peel it. So just take like anything that's not ripe or it's not good or it might be brownish. You're just going to take it off. And I do it like that. See? So you get the little green layer. Okay. Now I'm going to cut right in half over here between the harder choke heart and all the other tough leaves. You're going to take those off. Okay, you're going to discard these. You don't need these for anything. You're going to get rid of them. And they're going to take, see how beautiful it is on the inside? Now in the middle is like the little fuzz part. We're going to take this out after we cut the artichoke. I'm going to cut the artichoke in four. If the pieces are too big, because it's a big artichoke, you could cut them even a little bit smaller. Okay? Right in half. So I get four nice pieces. I actually like the sizes. So I'm not going to do anything else. I'll just leave them the way it is. See, see right inside the little fuzz part? It's easy. Just take a little knife, a paring knife or something, go right at the bottom, and they come right out. They come right out. You want to take this out because you don't want this little fuss stuff in your mouth. It's like, it's like almost like having hair in your mouth. It's like, I really don't like the taste of it. So I take them off. Okay. What I'm going to do, once I have all these cut, I also have a pan of water on the side with lemon inside. I'm going to put them in there so the, the artichokes do not turn color while you're cleaning the rest of them. Okay. I'm going to be taking all this stuff out. And I'm going to do this process to all of them until I'm done and just wait for my water to boil in the steamer and then I'm going to throw them right in. See how easy it is? It comes really nice. If you want, you can cut these in half. I like them like this. I'm going to leave them alone. So we're going to do another one, come back, and I'll show you the rest. Okay, now what we're, the next step we're going to do is once you've cleaned all your artichokes and you've placed them in your lemon and water bath, you're going to, and, bait, and what that does is it prevents them from turning brown. You're going to take them out of the water. What I do is I throw them in a little pot, what I call my all-purpose pot. I'm going to take out the lemons they were soaking in. There's just two, one lemon. I'm going to walk over to my pot that's steaming. Take the lid off. I'm going to take my artichoke. I'm just going to throw them right in. Just be careful not to burn yourself because it, it is hot. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to check on these in about three minutes to see how nice, how tender they are. I don't want them too, too, too soft because you're going to be marinating in vinegar that also make them a little bit softer. So I'm going to check in a couple of minutes. Once they're ready, I'm going to get an ice water bath going to shock them so they stop cooking. And they're going to dry them off and they're going to start jarring them. So come back and join me as we get this lovely process going of these delicious artichokes. See you in a minute. Now we're going to check them to see what the texture is, but they should be good for only like three, four minutes. They're good to go. 
I pick one up. Don't do this with your hands at home. You use something. I'm more comfortable with this way. They're nice and tender. I'm going to shut the heat off. I am going to take them. I use my kitchen utensil. I'm going to put them in the ice bath. And that's how they stop the cooking process. So I can start drawing them in a few minutes. I might get maybe two jars out of this. If not, I'll be happy just for one big full jar. These are so good. You go through them quickly like I do. I only make about five, six jars at a time. But just to show you, I'm going to make about one. And then when I run out, I'll make some more. And let it sit for a minute. I am not going to drain it. Get all the ice and the water out of it. I am going to place them now on a nice towel. And the reason why I do this is just to get some of the excess water off. Yeah, you can strain them. And it does strain them. It takes a lot of the water out. I just like to get a little bit more thorough to get the water out because it's going to go into oil. And as you know, oil and water just doesn't mix. So I'm going to do this a little bit. Dry them off before we start drying them. See, it's really, really simple. You just have to love what you're doing. Okay, now that all the artichokes have been cleaned, drained, shot, I'm gonna start jarring them. And this is my process of doing it. I'm gonna start taking the artichokes, I'm gonna put them in a jar, and there's no magic to just put them in any way you want. They'll look beautiful, because you know what? It makes its own design. Just put them in any way you want. Use your hands, use a kitchen utensil, whatever you want. I fill them up about halfway, and I'll start adding my ingredients, half my ingredients, and I'll put the other half afterwards. Look how nice. Look how pretty they are. Okay, just kind of give a little push with your fingers. I like to work with my hands. My hands are nice and clean. I always clean and wash as I go along. Okay, we got that. Now I'm going to start putting some of the ingredients. I'm going to put half now and half at the end. In here, I have my chopped garlic. This is six tablespoons. I'm not going to use all six. I'm probably going to make another jar out of this. I'm just going to grab about, a, about, a, about maybe a tablespoon and throw that in. I got some very spicy chili peppers. I'm going to take three of these little guys. Remember, you don't have to put the peppers in. I like it spicy. You don't have to put this stuff in. You're going to throw it in. Okay. I'm going to take a quarter teaspoon of salt. Only one salt. One quarter teaspoon is more than enough. I have, dry, I have Italian oregano, dry oregano. You're going to take a tablespoon of that and throw that into the jar. Put a tablespoon. Again, you could put the ingredients, whatever you like, your taste. Make it according to your, the way you like things. Don't worry about how I tell you to do it. This is just a simple way of doing it, but don't put the spices if you don't want. Put a little bit of extra this if you like. Whatever it is that you want, you're going to put. I'm going to put, I also like the crushed red pepper. I love that in these. It gives such a nice balance. About a tablespoon, okay, and some peppercorns. You kind of just eyeball it, but I just throw a couple in. Okay, now that I put all of these in, I'm going to put in here. I have a cup of distilled white vinegar. I'm going to put about half of it for now. Okay, I use about a cup. Well, again, use whatever you like. I don't like it too, too strong, but a lot of people do like it stronger. I'm going to fill up a halfway up with extra virgin olive oil. I'm probably going to make a mess in the process because I'm so good at that. Just ask my husband. Every time I do something, what are you doing? Making a mess in that kitchen. But he loves the finished product. That's why he's so beautiful and skinny like me. Okay, halfway up. Look how nice it's starting to go. And now I'm going to put the rest of the artichokes in. Don't worry about it just sitting there. You're going to fix this beautifully in one minute. Just keep filling it up until you can't get in there no more. It's going to look beautiful. Don't worry about it. Toot the bell, as we say in Italy. You don't have to get fancy fixing the artichoke. You can if you want to. It's up to you. I just like this. Once they're in, it's good for me. It becomes nice. Look how nice this is. Okay. Now, I'm going to put just a little bit more garlic. Not too much. I already have like a tablespoon of the bottom. So like a little bit, like a half a teaspoon of that. 
I'm not gonna put the chili peppers. I have three in there already. They're nice and hot. I am not gonna put the red crushed pepper, and that's in, in there as well. I am gonna put a little bit, just a little bit more oregano on top. Yeah, about a half a teaspoon or so. So all together, about a table, a table and a half of a teaspoon of the oregano. Be careful on your red crushed pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit more on top. I, I love things that are spicy. I'm gonna put a little bit more on top. Perfect. No longer need the salt. I'm gonna put a little bit more peppercorns on top. And then I'm gonna finish it. And the reason why I don't use sage or a rosemary, uh, because I want the flavor of the artichoke. Sometimes those spices are delicious, well, those, but they overtake and they overpower other things. So I'm not gonna put anything else in. I'm just gonna finish filling it up. Now put the rest of the vinegar right on top. And top it off with my extra virgin olive oil. Okay. This is done. I'm going to take my lid. I'm going to close it off. You can see the lid inside. Again, these jars do not have to be put in a, a water bath or a seal or anything. They're not tomatoes. Tomatoes are a little bit different process. I don't make them because it's a big process. I prefer to do these. Now, all I'm going to do is shake them up and just kind of everything spreads around me. Out inside, it's, it's beautiful. You see the peppercorns, you can see the garlic. Uh, you see the red pepper flakes, the crushed red pepper. You can see the, you can actually see the oregano in there. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. And it's going to look like this. These also make beautiful gifts around the holidays or a birthday or just when you go to visit somebody's house. A nice bottle of wine, some marinated, nothing like home marinated stuff. It's delicious. This is my masterpiece. I love this stuff. It's like when I go to somebody's house, they always look for me to bring, instead of pastries or dessert, they want me to bring food. They invite me for dinner and they want to bring food. If it's not my balls, it's my artichokes, one or the other. But anyway, this is the finished product. When we return, I'm going to actually open it and taste one. I mean, it, you need to marinate it for a few days to get the extra flavor of everything, but I'm just going to try just to show you what it looks like once I open it. It's going to be absolutely delicious. I'll come back in a minute, I'm going to clean this, all the stuff off, and then we're going to taste the artichokes. See you in a second. Okay, we have finished drawing the artichokes. Uh, we got two jars out of them. I just want to go over the ingredients and the spices and herbs one more time. You can put them at any point you want when you're drawing. You can put them at the bottom, in the middle, on top, doesn't matter. Once you add your wet ingredients and you put the lid on, you're going to shake it up. It just gets all mixed up in there anyway. Look how delicious this looks. looks so I got two nice jars. One for me and maybe one for you guys out there. Who knows? But I'm going to open it up and actually taste it. Of course, before you would taste it, you let it marinate for a few days to get all the flavors of the herbs and the spices. But I want to show you what it actually looks like once it's done. I almost dropped my fork. I'm going to take maybe a couple out. Look at that olive oil. You can actually smell the vinegar. Oh my God, it smells. I love that smell of vinegar. It smells so good. I'll take out one more for good measure. And I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Mm, that's so good. It's nice and tender. It's got a little bit of crunchiness. It's not completely cooked, but it has a nice tender taste to it. You, the first, you get that taste of the vinegar. It's delicious. The olive oil has a nice taste to it. Uh, it's got a little pepper in there. You can taste the garlic. Once these marinate for a few days, it'll taste even better. So what you just keep them in, the, in, in your cabinet, you know, out of direct sunlight. It's better. Once you open it and start using it, put it in the refrigerator. When you finish with the artichoke, don't throw away the oil. You can make that oil as a dipping oil for the bread. Delicious. As a salad dressing, you can use that. Because it, it's all these flavors that you have in there. So it's like a nice salad dressing. Or just use, put these on top of your salad and then use it as a salad dressing with artichoke. Delicious. I need to swallow. Wait, I'm sorry. Mm. But anyway, I want to thank you for joining me uh, to make these beautiful dish. Come back and join us on another episode of Cooking with Johnny. Also visit my Facebook, Cooking with Johnny. I have a new website, cookingwithjohnny.net. Uh, I do answer all your emails. I get a lot of questions about other products you want me to make, other dishes, what ingredients. Keep coming. I do answer them. I appreciate all the support you're giving me. I love you guys. Big hugs to you all. And we'll see you soon. Come back.